Hey everyone, all right, so in this video today, we're gonna talk about everyone as you pushed out and you know, what can you do or what do you do when your specific person or someone close to you or you have an experience where someone says something to you or does something to you that really, really hurts you? Um, because this can happen, you know, because again, people are mirrors of our inner world and as a conscious creator, it's looking within and understanding, how did I manifest this version? How did I manifest this experience that I am now in or just had, right? And then I want to focus on, you know, do you stay? What do you do? How do you respond to it? What do you deal with the emotions? Because in this spiritual journey, understanding law of assumption, understanding everyone as you pushed out, it's, it's a process. It can fuck with us. It's such a mind fuck sometimes because we're learning like, you know, no one is separate, right? That... We really need to understand that this reflection, as much as it hurt and stung, is really just mirroring back to us the thoughts that we had, right? A belief system about ourselves or them, et cetera. And then, but also not being a doormat because there is no way you're going to be a doormat. Like that's just not the whole game of this, right? So it's kind of understanding more, what do you do? What's the balance? So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. All right, so I wanna announce real quick that we have launched my new group. It's called Quantum Leap Your Love Life, and it's all about manifesting love in your SP, and we go in deep into all these concepts. Um, every week there's you know, a live training as well as a coaching Zoom session um, talking about all this stuff that I talk about on the channel in regards to manifesting love or an SP. So the links are below. We have a discounted rate happening right now. Um, I actually have to go in and uh, accept some of the people who purchased over the weekend. Um, so once we hit 100 spots, then the, the rate will shoot up. Um, so right now it's a discounted rate. So check out the link below if you're interested. This is just about maintaining, staying fucking focused, keeping the momentum, because I'm gonna tell you right now, from someone who's recreating her SP, from someone who's been on this journey herself to break her own fucking patterns in love, and her own ways of sabotaging and creating chaotic situations in her love life, you need reinforcement, okay? So, and I also have how to manifest your SP back and keep them for good self-guided uh, course as well as your self-concept all about love. This is really fucking important because you have to reinforce your self-concept, especially when you're manifesting an SP. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you right now, when they show up, if they're doing something that doesn't feel good or they fucking say something that's hurtful, it's gonna fucking take you for a loop and you really wanna stay as best as you can in your power state and not go back into the victim state because it's so, so easy to do. So you can find all that stuff um, on my website, links are below. All right, so let's talk about this. So we know that with everyone as you pushed out, all it means is whatever we think about and focus on or we assume is pushed out and then people show up reflecting to us the story of that we've given ourselves of what's happening uh, with us in regards to this person as well as how this person is showing up. I've had some interesting things happen to me where it was very eye-opening of how fast stuff manifested within specific people, even the current one. Um, and one of them was understanding what was going on with me um, when I got some messaging back that was really, really hurtful. In fact, it was so out of the ordinary that I had never experienced anyone else speak to me this way, okay? So this is the thing is there's a process in all of this and one is when your specific person comes at you in a very disrespectful way, you have to look at you. Like first and foremost, you set the boundary, right? You're not gonna tolerate that. This is unacceptable to speak to me this way. And then you disengage. You need to remove yourself from the situation um, and not continue in the toxicity of that conversation or interaction, right? Because this is about you getting out of something that is hurtful and not perpetuating it as quickly as you can. So then a couple things is one, you're gonna feel some pain because you can't believe this person just said what they said to you and it's gonna throw you for a loop and you're gonna go back into old self-concept um, and feeling rejected, not chosen, not wanted based off the nasty things that they just said to you, correct? So this is where you're gonna feel some pain, you're gonna feel some emotions, that is okay, release the emotions, okay? Because this is about never ever suppressing anything 
um, and kind of like dealing with what the fuck just happened, what the fuck, because this is what we do. If you're really working on your shit, if you're really in law of assumption and practicing it and implementing it, if you're really changing your thoughts and you're really re reprogramming your story of who you are, and you're experiencing some of these things show up, these dominant belief systems that have been buried deep, then you know in this game, there's gonna be these moments where your 3D fucking doesn't feel good. And it's just an indicator to say, holy shit, what am I creating, right? What's going on with me? And when I've had to experience this, um, you know, there's times you're gonna react because you're fucking human, so just be aware of that. And if you do, it's still not the end of the world. You just wanna get out of reacting um, as quickly as you can and get back internally where your power is, right? So, you know, and I've said this forever that you're, you're never not going to react um, being that we're human, but it's understanding that the more you're on this journey, there will be less things that trigger you as you keep doing this internal work of the reprogramming of your self-concept of going through this understanding when these reflections show up, like it's so, so easy to start identifying some of this stuff. So I had, um, a, uh, an experience that happened that was actually very interesting. It hurt like a motherfucker. Okay. And I had never experienced a version of this person this way before or from any other person I've ever encountered in my life, okay? So I was like, what the fuck is this, <laughs> right? And it hurt and I had some emotions, but then I jumped back on the bandwagon and I was like, oh my gosh, you wanna talk about everyone as you pushed out? So a lot of times they reflect back to your insecurities. Now, that can show up very specific or it can show up very general. In this case, I'm going to share with you uh, the general details of it. It was very specific, which is why for me, it was so mind blowing of how it just solidified and reinforced for me even more than I already know, like, holy fuck no one is separate, okay? Like, wow. I mean, it just, when you start seeing this stuff come in, it's it, in a good way too. It doesn't have to be in a negative way all the time, but it's really, really powerful. It's really, really eye-opening to how powerful you are, how your thoughts really are creating, how everyone is you pushed out, how your specific person is coming at you and you, because I had to look at my part too and, and how I engaged in this interaction because I was not off the hook, okay? One, I was not off the hook because I created that version um, based off my inner story. But two, I reacted in um, an emotional way and uh, you know reinforced and perpetuated some of the the toxicity, some of the drama in, in that interaction, okay? So I had to take responsibility for that part for myself, right? So I'm gonna talk about that. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about what these specific thoughts were. Um, and then I'm gonna talk to you about what to do afterwards, okay? Because you're gonna feel hurt. Um, you're gonna have these back and forths in your mind where you're like, yeah, intellectually, you know what I mean? Intellectually, you're like, oh my God, this is everyone as you pushed out, I get it. But then boom, you go into the human's emotional state where you're like, that hurt what they said, I can't believe what they said. Then your mind wants to replay it and then you start going. So it's like all this stuff you gotta kind of process and work through <laughs> as best as you can. So I'm gonna try to share with you what I do and what helps me the most um, because this is what the journey is about. This is really what it's all about. So. The specific, it was so interesting to me because the specific way this person came at me. Now, I started it, so I took responsibility for that. I still had some of my old programming show up, and I reacted. Um, and I came from that old programming, so I, I knew that instantly, right? And then his reaction with me was very interesting because there were so many things that I had said to this person that they could have counteracted or came back um, to defend it, right? Or, or say, no, Kim, you're wrong. It's this, this, or that. But what this person did instead was come at me in such a uh, personal way. Like they came at me about things about my appearance um, that I knew weren't true. And this person knows it's not true either, but the person was really trying to hurt me, okay? And this is the way you really hurt people if you talk about something with their appearance or whatever, right? So anyways, but what stood out to me was the things that this person actually said to me. 
because when I took a deep breath, because I disengaged from it, because I'm like, I recognize quick, yo, this is not good, this doesn't feel good, this is toxic, this is not healthy, like, what is going on here, right? And then I had to disengage. Um, and then I felt the hurt and the stinging of what was said to me. And then I did what I just shared. I had to look at, fuck, I know I created this. So I, in the last, uh, before that happened, there was like a couple days before that happened or like a week or so before that happened, I started seeing a pattern in my mind where I started just having these random thoughts of this person about this person's toxic. And it wasn't like all day long, it would just pop up. And when it would pop up and say, no, 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 that's not true because I knew, fuck, I'm gonna create this, right? And I wasn't like stressed out about it or anything. It just kept popping the fuck up, okay? And then there was um, my underlying story that was popping up too based off other information because this is what the 3D does when it shows you what you've created from your deepest, darkest uh, you know, childhood wounds or whatever, which my theme is abandonment, right? So when I saw that evidence in the 3D, which I knew, I knew, of course I manifested this. So I wasn't like, oh my God, this is permanent, but I still, it still triggered me. And when you're triggered, it's understanding it's deep. It's, it's a belief system and assumption you have about yourself. It goes quick, right back into default self-concept mode, right? And then you usually react. You react from that old version of you that feels not chosen, rejected, not good enough, okay? And that was me in that moment, right? So I was able to recognize all that kind of after the fact. Um, and I'm sharing this with you as teaching, educational, experiential of what I've been through personally and what I find helps me the best um, so that if this is what you're going through, you can practice and understand more what's happening for yourself. So, but then I was able to see the things that were said to me, how specific they were. One, the behavior came from, I started a story of this person that he was toxic just fucking randomly, like, hello, I don't know why. <laughs> and then um, I started with, based off something that happened in the 3D that triggered me, I was in my old self-concept, which is probably why I started thinking he's toxic, because I was in my old self-concept dominantly more than I was in the new self-concept. Then the things he said to me were so specific, so specific. I've never, ever had anyone say this to me. And what it reinforced for me in that moment, there were four things that were said. And I could go back and see when, those times when I was dealing with him that I thought these thoughts, that he didn't even know I thought these thoughts. And they weren't dominant thoughts, they were my insecurities. And because I was in self-concept rejected state of me during that week, it was more dominant, those thoughts were coming up more and more. And they were deep. They were, you know, an old story that had nothing to do with this man at all. But he nevertheless mirrored it back to me, exactly what I was thinking. And that was mind-blowing to me, really on a level, because it really helped me clarify how specific some of this stuff can get, right? Um, and it's rooted in the old self-concept because I was insecure in my own way and I was engaging with him and created that version of him to come in and then I was creating the story of the talk, he's toxic, you know? And even though I'd say, no, no, he's not, it still came into fruition and I reacted rather than just let it pass knowing, okay, I, I realize how I manifested this, right? And then the exchange we had was me being reactive and, and saying nasty things, so I gave it, so I got it right the fuck back, you know what I mean? But the things he said to me were so specific that it blew my mind, you know, in my brain I was like, holy fuck, man, everyone as you pushed out is happening, you know? So I was able to see like more and more that same day, like how I created this. Like it was so obvious and evident to me. And it kind of reinforced for me in that moment, like fuck, we really are this powerful, you know? Um, and, and I already knew that, and you know this, but every time you experience it, especially when you're being mirrored back, shit that has nothing to do with them. Um, like thoughts you just think about yourself and then they, they say it back to you. So it was interesting because sometimes we manifest versions of people in, um, I was talking to my friend about this, we manifest versions of people in who are going to be very specific with showing us what is really going on in here rather than in a general way, if that makes sense. So 
what do you do when that happens? Because there's a whole range of emotions, right? So I was like angry. Then I realized, fuck, man, I got to get out of this petty stuff. I have to get out of this toxic exchange right now. You know, and I pulled myself out of the exchange because I'm like, this does not feel good and this is not what I want, right? And then I was dealing with the emotions uh, of what he said to me, how hurtful it was. Then I was dealing with, well, oh my God, I created this. So it was like this back and forth um, and a different range of emotions like all day long. Um, so, you know, the bottom line is this. What I decided to do in that moment was because you know, it was so easy to slip back in victim mode at that time where I was starting to feel like, oh my God, I'm not the operant power, right? Like, is this ever going to change for me? You know, go back into that old story. And I said, fuck that shit, because that's not going to ever get me what I want. Um, and just really, re I started, you know, again, just jumping on forgiving because I was starting to feel very angry with myself for fucking falling back in my old patterns at that time, right? and creating another fucking shitty version of someone. And I was getting frustrated with myself, like why is this still happening? Because this, this happens a lot with people, right? So I had to kind of just grieve a little bit of that and then just remind myself that it's okay. This was information, that's it. You know what I mean? Like it's just information. It's giving me the information I need. I, so I, I twisted it, right? I was like, it, it finally clicked for me that I was like, oh, no, I needed to know this. This is what was going on in my brain. This is another way that I'm getting out of the old reality, that I'm getting out of the old self-concept, the old story, et cetera, et cetera, because I had this information that was so specific and obvious to a thought system in me that I wasn't even really aware of. Um, but when it came into my reality, I was like, recognized it like that. So this happens. This happens. This is why it's like peeling layers sometimes with this shit, okay? So having said that, I had to remind myself, I, I went into forgiveness mode for me, for me, for me, because I wanted to be angry at him. But then we know, this is what I'm saying, you go through this process, then we know no one is separate. So then I'm like, okay, I can't be angry at him and I can't be angry at myself. So what do I do instead? So I have to forgive myself for creating that version of him and forgive him for being that version, right? And just really kind of going through that to release the hurt and the anger because I am someone when I feel hurt, I'd rather go into anger because the anger is more safe and it's it's that protective emotion um, rather than the hurt. And I don't want to really feel either if I don't have to, right? Like we have emotions, we need to feel and process and release them, but I don't want to stay stuck in any of them. So, you know, when I feel it, I feel it, and it's going to be there for a couple days for some of you because it is such an emotionally charged experience when you get in some kind of toxic exchange um, and somebody's saying something that's really, really hurtful, um, even though it's you hurting you because you created the experience. It was literally my thoughts. Like, how could this person even fucking know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it was so obvious to me that, fuck, it's my mind. <laughs> so having said that, taking ownership back that, you know, I am the creator of my reality, my thoughts fucking create, um, and that this is just information, which is actually information I need to keep moving me forward in this game so that I continue to break all these patterns, right? So after that, what did I do? Well, then, it, you know, it's a couple days, you're going to feel probably emotional and stuff, um, but you just got to keep redirecting your mind to your truth that, even though this didn't feel good, I did manifest this experience. Um, it's not letting the person off the hook in the sense that I don't want you to be a doormat with anyone. Um, you know, so for me at that time, I decided to step away from the person um, and give space um, because I don't want to be in that situation. There was a lot more to it. I'm not going to get into it in this video, but it was just better for me to remove myself from that version and just keep working on myself at that time. Um, knowing and trusting in the unseen, knowing and trusting that this too shall pass and that the 3D will still continue to conform um, and, and, and show up differently at some point, right? And, and that's a personal choice for everyone. I'm just sharing with you what I did um, when this happened. So another thing to do is to reinforce the new story. So for me, I took that information and I made it specific with that person because I wasn't getting this reaction with anyone else in my reality. It was specific to him. So I knew it was about my self-concept in relation to him, even though it was such a personal 
story that he mirrored back to me that had nothing to do with him, but it showed up through him because of how I felt insecure and I was being triggered in my old self-concept with what was manifesting in 3D. So it was very eye-opening for me. Um, so then I started reaffirming specifically with that person um, that they did not see me that way, that they saw me a different way, right? And then um, obviously reinforced my self-concept. So I'm just sharing this with you because I think that there isn't enough out there that when people go through things like this that it's explained very well. Maybe maybe it is, but I just wanted to share what is going on with you in this process because it is not fucking easy peasy all the time, um, which is why most people don't implement and stick it out um, because it is easier to just say, fuck it. I don't even care anymore. I'm going to move on to the next person. You know, and I actually had that thought, like, I don't need to fucking even want to recreate this person at this point. Like, I'm just sick of all of this. Um, but then, you know, it slapped me in my face, too, that this isn't even about the specific person, which it never fucking is. Everybody in your life is just a fucking mirror. It's about me. And it's my fucking story. And it's my personal work to do. And that was just the mirror reflecting it back to me. So it's not about finding someone new because I will create the same fucking thing because that story he manifested back to me um, for the most of it had nothing to do with him, nothing to fucking do with him. Um, so I just wanted to share this with you and help you guys understand that if you go through this, it's okay. It's part of the process. You get back on the horse. You kind of look at this stuff as information, process your emotions in a healthy way, and just understand okay, what do I need to affirm differently? Um, what is the story I want to create and reinforce that self-concept? Um, and again, just look at his information. Don't look at his, this is lost. This isn't working. I'm never going to get what I want. It's just understanding that this was created. That moment was already created with past manifestations. See, for me, it was so evident. I, I knew why this showed up in the 3D, like instantly. I knew, so I knew like, okay, this was the lag time all this other time in the past, this was a dominant fear that I had, that I was in the process, and this is an important message too. A dominant fear had manifested into my 3D with this person, which I was reprogramming and reaffirming over for months. And it was the lag time, it still manifested, which is okay. I, it makes sense that it did because even though I was affirming over it, it still was a dominant fear. So the kind of gift that it gave me in a way was like, oh, the worst case scenario happened. So like nothing worse can happen. Like that was my biggest fucking fear in this situation. So it was a very interesting too to see that because I was like, oh, well, it just happened. So now I don't have to be fearful of it happening. And it kind of released me even more from worrying about that. So I just wanted to share this with you because this is part of this beautiful process and journey. And just know you are limitless. Your thoughts do create. And it's not about affirming so you hurry up and see the change on the 3D. It's affirming so that you end up living in a reality where you get what you want and you don't go through these exchanges anymore, right? That's the goal is when these show up, it's just showing you your old story still. It's just showing you, all right, we're getting one step closer, one step closer. All right, so if you feel like you need additional support at all, definitely check out my website, as I mentioned, for many different resources to help guide you and navigate you through this beautiful journey, this transformational fucking experience of manifesting an SP.